sa pagpapatuloy naman po ng tutorial na to ay sasagutan ko po itong uh, problem number 2. Kaya nga lang sa tatlong pamamaraan. Uh, addition and subtraction, ang laway sa situation at saka yung ikatlo yung determinant. Uh, ang aim ko po dito para yung taga sa baybay uh, na merong interes sa ganito ay matutunan nila yung lahat ng klase uh, ng pamamaraan. Uh, and then, makapili sila ng kung ano yung pinaka uh, madali para sa kanila. Kasi pagdating po sa examination, eh, kailangan yung efficiency mataas eh. Uh, at saka yung medyo matuli ng konti. So kung ano yung palagay nilang madali para sa, para sa inyo, eh, pumili na po kayo rito. No? Ngayon, ide-demo ko po yun one by one. Uh, dito po ang akin pong i-eliminate ay yung Uh, mas maigi yung y. Ang gagawin ko po rito ay multiply ko ng negative 5. So, using addition and subtraction method, number 1. Therefore, uh, i-apply po yung tinatawag na distributive property of multiplication. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x then minus 5y equals to negative 10. So, we'll check. Maka natuling na naman. Therefore, wala naman. So, ito remain eh. 4x plus 5y is equals to 6. Uh, therefore, ito eh. Add lang naman ito. Malinaw. Ito ma-eliminate. No? Ito magiging 11x is equals to negative 4. Therefore, x is equals to 4 over 11. Ito pong value ng x na to na 4 over 11. Sa substitute po natin. Substitute no? to any equation. Pwede po sa 1 o 2. Piliin na lang natin yung 1. 3 times 4, times 4 over. This is 4. 4 over 11. Plus y is equals to 2. Therefore y is equals to 2 minus 12 over 11. Lalabas. 11. Divide 1 is 11. Times 2 is 22. 11 divide 11 is 1. Times 12 is negative 12. Therefore, mangyari po sa so y ay negative, uh, negative or positive is malinaw positive. 10 over 11. Ayan, uh, ang next question po dito, paano po tayo makakatsak na yung x ay 4 over 11? Then, yung y ay 10 over 11. So, para makasigurado po tayo, i-substitute po natin dito sa kahit na anong equation. Uh, yun po ang kagandahan ng equation. Eh, kasi may equal sign po siya dito. Ibig sabihin, yung left side is always equal to right side. Pagka hindi nag-balance yun, ibig sabihin, hindi sila masasabi equation. So, para ma-check natin, ano? to prove, no? to check. Substitute po natin itong value na to. Siguro sa equation number 1 na lang. No? 3 x is 4 over 11 plus y is 10 over 11 uh, Question mark muna. Hindi pa natin alam eh. Kung ito siya. Pero dapat, itong nasa left side, dapat ang value niya talaga ay 2. Para masabi na yung x at saka Y, the value na to ay talagang tama. Therefore, 12 over 11 plus 10 over 11. Uh, therefore, mangyari ay 22 over 11. Lagyan na natin ang check kasi talagang 22 over 11, talagang to naman talaga. Eh. Uh, in, in that sense, tama talaga yung answer natin na to. X at saka Y. Uh, using substitution naman number 2. Method number 2, substitution. Ang gagawin natin, 3x plus y is equals to 2. Then 4x plus 5y is equals to 6. Therefore, from uh, equation 1, puli natin yung value ng y. y is equals to 2 minus 3x. Then, itong value ng y, na substitute natin sa equation number 2. Substitute, 
2 number 2 na lang automatic na equation number 2 then 4x plus 5 2 minus 3x is equal to 6 4x plus so this gives the property of multiplication plus 10 minus 15x equals to 6 so double check baka na duling na naman ako 5 times 2 10 minus 15x okay mali na naman ngayon rito ay combine similar terms mangyari po ay negative kasi 4x so ito naman is negative 15 therefore magiging negative 11x equals to ito lilipat natin from left side to right side mangyari po ay lamang na yung negative so 6 minus 10 Therefore, negative 11x is equals to negative 4. Therefore, x is equals to 4 uh, over 11. Kung inyo po mga pansin, para pares na pares naman. Then, substitute. Substitute to any equation na naman. Any equation. Para mapalabas yung y. Uh, Pilihin lang natin yung laging 1 na lang. No? 1 na ito. No, therefore, y uh, y is equal to 2 minus 3 times 4 over 11. Kasi ano, y is equal to 2. Yung lilipat natin 3x magiging negative. Eh. Therefore, 2 minus 12 over 11. Uh, mangyari ay 11. So, LCD lang eh. No? 11 divided 1, 11 times uh, 11 divided 1 is 11 times 2 is magiging 22 uh, minus, uh, minus 12 say 11 divide, uh, divide 11 is 1 times 12 is 12 mangyari po ay y is equal to mali na po 10 over 11 mali po rin sa parehati naman so third method is using a determinant determinant Merong simpleng formula yung determinant para makuha natin. Yung x is equals to dx over denominator d. Yung y naman is equals to dy over denominator d. Para makuha yung denominator is equals to t, 4. Yung 3 at saka 4, ayun yung coefficient of x term. Ito ba? Then, 1 at saka 5. Eh, naman yung coefficient of y term. Therefore, mangyari po ay 3 times 5, 15, minus 4 times 1 is 4. Ang kakalabasan ng d ay 11. Para makuha natin yung dx, actually, yung constant nila, no? ay yung iahaliri natin sa coefficient ng x term. So, yung, yung constant ay 2 at saka 6. 2, 6, i-re-remain natin saka yung 1 at saka 5. Therefore, uh, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 6 times 1 is 6. Ang nakalabasan ay 4. Hindi, uh, y naman. Uh, I-re-remain natin yung x term. No? Coefficient of x term. Uh, 3 at saka 4. Tapos, doon sa y term, so coefficient of y term, papasok natin yung constant na 2, saka 6. Lalabas ay 2, c 3 times 6 is 18, minus 4 times 2 is 8. C equals 2, uh, double check, no? Uh, 3, 4, 2, 6. 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 2 is 8. Magiging 10. Baka naduling na naman ako. Therefore, ang mayayari, sasubshoot na natin sa x. x is equals to dx. Ilan ho yung dx is 4? Ilan naman yung d over 11? Kung yung mapansin, parehas na parehas naman. Uh, 4 over 11. Then, yung y is equals to dy over d. Ang dy is equals to 10. Then, parehas din naman yan. Ang um, di naman ay 11. So, yung x, pare-parehas, 4 over 11, using uh, addition subtraction. 
And using a substitution, 4 over 11. Using a determinant, 4 over 11. Yung y, pare-pare as 10 over 11, 10 over 11, and 10 over uh, 11. So, uh, malina po na talagang tama naman yung answer natin. At uh, saka chinek din natin dito na talagang lumabas na parehas eh. Ang mga may po ay problem number 3. Number 3. Sige po, thank you. Salamat.